On our continuing series of candidate interviews, we'd like to welcome running for Port of Olympia Port Commissioner District Number 3, E.J. Zeta. Zeta, welcome. Hi, Dale. Nice to have you here with us. Our first question right out of the box is, what's your platform? So I am running on open, openness and transparency. I want the port to work closely with the citizens, the cities, the county, and local agencies for good planning, for sustainable economic development. Port for the people. Public funds should be used for the public good. Um, we want to preserve environmental resources, trees, and open spaces that are providing ecosystem services. We don't want to pay them. We, we don't want more truck traffic. If they're already absorbing storm water and um, saving us money, we want to let them save us that money and develop areas that are already paved. For example, in Tumwater New Market area, um, there are buildings that are unoccupied Tumwater's Farmer's Market is ready to move into some of that area. They need more space for a bigger farmer's market. Supporting urban and rural farmers in Thurston County in the, in the port's airport district can be an economic driver for the port. Um, in the marine port area, we want to move away from fossil fuels and toward renewable energy. We want to take the port into the 21st century. Um, we want uh, the port to do careful planning with the communities so that we make the best use of public funds uh, for the best profit and for the best uh, public health and safety. Zita, why did you decide to run this year? I've been working on port issues for a decade. When the port proposed development in our Salmon Creek Basin neighborhood, we organized our neighborhood for the first time. And we've had some successes in working with the port in helping the port do better planning with the city of Tumwater, with Thurston County, and I have been appointed to a port advisory committee for economic development. The longer I'm on that committee, the more I wonder how effective it is to um, to work at this level. We need some big changes at the Port of Olympia. So I was recruited by Sue Gunn's supporters. You may know that Sue Gunn had a health condition and was not granted leave by the Port of Olympia. Citizens are mad about that process. Citizens are mad about a number of processes at the port. So they said, Zita, would you do this? Would you run? Would you fill Sue's seat? And I said, well, if there's a good team backing me up. So they got a good team for me, and I'm going to do it. Um, and we're going to change some processes at the port. We're going to make it better. Very good. And why should the voters pick you over your opponents for this seat? I am a candidate for change. I know how the port works. I've been working with the port for 10 years. I'm on this uh, Port Advisory Committee for Economic Development. I am, have been working effectively in the community for a long time. I'm a longtime resident of Thurston County. I'm a farmer in South County. I'm the chair of the Thurston County Ag Committee. I support um, the port using more public resources for economic development in support of agriculture like a farm to market center where farmers, rural and urban farmers, can bring their produce for distribution to add value, to package. Um, this could be in conjunction with the bigger Tumwater Farmers Market. That's just one example of things that the port can do with public money to support the community. More renewable energy. We have a lot of potential for renewable energy. I'm a scientist and a teacher. My students at Evergreen last year figured out that we could provide half of the electricity we need on campus with solar panels. And this year, our research team is taking the next step to make it a reality. 
Evergreen's going solar. You think it's too cloudy here in Olympia, but it's not. We have more sun than Germany, and they're the number one solar producer. And we can do it at the port, too. Renewable energy can be not just a way to provide energy security, but also job security. And farm initiatives in Thurston County, sponsored by the port, can be job security and an economic driver for Thurston County. And finally, Zita, what's the most pressing and important issue for the voters this year? I think the biggest issue is um, holding the port accountable and making sure the port is really serving the public. Running for Port Commissioner District Number 3 for the Port of Olympia, Zita, thank you much for your time today. Thank you, Dale and Jeff. Thank you.